What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Video back with another Dokkan battle video and in this video I just want to quickly go over the upcoming TUR Kid Goku and Krillin that was just announced in the game and essentially this gets us one step closer to the next free to play LR on JP and for those of you who are a little bit confused you need a little refresher let me remind you that a little while back we got this new Kid Goku that we knew eventually was going to awaken into an LR but at that time we were only able to get him into this state his SSR state and we couldn't awaken him any further by the way to acquire him you just have to do this event which is returning on January 10th so if you guys haven't gotten him yet and gotten him to SA10 etc then you still have an opportunity when the event returns but anyways going back to this TUR form here we finally are now able to awaken him into a TUR and he is going to be TUR Kid Goku and Krillin and uh, I just want to thank quickly the real Funkster for translating the Japanese because I can't read Japanese he says the passive is going to be randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres and key plus 2 and attack plus 20% per rainbow key sphere obtained which in my opinion is actually very solid for a free to play unit so first things first they're going to be able to super a lot because they are gonna give themselves key they also provide themselves with the rainbow spheres they need to get that key and as well as 20% attack per rainbow key sphere obtained up to a maximum of hundred percent because you guys aren't aware the most rainbow key spheres you can get in one rotation on one turn is five so a maximum of key plus 10 and attack plus hundred percent in this state not bad at all in my opinion and also of course if you don't want to give them those rainbow key spheres there are a lot of other units in this game that could use those rainbow key spheres as well so they could be a good support a good orb changer in that sense but keep in mind of course that this is only their tur state they are guaranteed to awaken into an lr eventually and in my opinion i think it makes a lot of sense that they're saving that lr awakening for the four year anniversary on jp which is happening in February so very very soon right now we're getting this TUR Kid Goku and Krillin probably in another month we'll get them awakened into an LR and in my opinion I think it makes, makes a lot of sense as well if Master Roshi joins this card as well so it's gonna be an LR Master Roshi Kid Goku and uh, Kid Krillin I mean I think a lot of people have been asking for it they were part of the legendary election as well and it seems like they are making their way down that list of legendary election LR so in my opinion it makes a lot of sense and uh, i can't wait for it but that's all i really want to talk about today just the fact that they're coming that's their new passive and also as far as predictions go i think that when they get into their lr form they will probably get p plus three and attack plus somewhere between 30 to 40 percent per rainbow key sphere obtained and in that case if you think about it let's say it's it's 30 percent on the low end then five times 30 that's 150 percent attack potential for a free-to-play LR but based on the way that free-to-play LRs have been going they've been really really good lately so right I wouldn't be surprised either if they do 40% so 5 times 40 that's up to a maximum of 200% attack as well as of course giving themselves a lot of key so they'll be able to get their 18 plus key super off very very easily which is amazing so uh, overall I think it's gonna be a good card I think that of course it's fan service because a lot of people love Kid Goku, Kid Krillin a throwback to um, the Dragon Ball series, the Dragon Ball days, which a lot of people love. So I think it's awesome. I think that LR Awakening is coming on the 40th anniversary. And uh, maybe you guys, because I gave you my predictions, maybe you guys have some opinions on what their passive is going to be, as well as what their leader skill is going to be. Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know if you are hyped for this new LR. By the way, to awaken them into the TUR form, the Kid Goku and Krillin, um, I was told that we will be getting a new story event as well. Not 100% sure about that because, again, I can't read Japanese, so <laughs> I'm not really sure if that's what it said in the news release. But I believe a new story event is coming as well, which means more free stones, more missions for more free stones from that as well. And uh, I believe in total, the new missions will provide 30 stones, not all related to this new story event, but just overall for the new missions that are coming up. We will be getting 30 dragon stones on JP. It's fantastic can't complain about that but that's all i want to say today guys let me know what you think about this information and if you're excited for the lr potentially lr master roshi krillin and goku that's all i gotta say for today as always if you guys like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me 
first time to the channel and like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.